All right, so when it comes to grading your FMX, we have a standard sheet that we're going to be using. As we go down, we can see our evaluation or how we're going to set you guys. So if you have zero retakes, you did a perfect FMX, there's no issues enough to have to go and do a retake, then we can move forward and give you 100. You miss one, you have to retake one, you get down to 95. Miss two retakes, you need 85. And three retakes, you get 75, just a minimum grade. If you get more than three retakes, such as four and above, then you will fail that mannequin or that lay patient and we'll have to get a new one. Um, as we go down, we can see our FMX laid out right side on the left, patient's left side on the right. Um, and we have the appropriate 18 films here for the full mouth x-rays. More towards over here at the bottom where we have our bite wing errors or our PA errors. Uh, we are now seeing that they're very similar but different in a few aspects as you can see that the periapicals or the PAs have a couple more errors that you can go and see. But let's tell you about going and grading. Using this image right here, this looks like it is a tooth set that's going to be on the left side. It is a bite wing as you can see the top teeth and the bottom teeth coming to bite together and it looks like more of a molar shot. So we're going to go set ourselves over here on the patient's left side and see what we have going on here as an error. To begin, you as a student is going to be grading and inside this little box here where is going to be our left side molar shot, a uh, bite wing. Uh, you're going to be putting your errors as you see. So maybe we can see a 7 that is going to be a cone cut. As you can see that half moon shape over to the uh, to the right side of this x-ray. You can also see inside here that there's a little bit of overlap. So we're going to also add a 13 right underneath that 7. And you're going to compile anything that you see as an error whether it be a error that needs to be retaken or just error just to the integrity of the film and you're going to record it on your side. You're you will then grade every single x-ray here and bring it to your instructor which I'm going to go and see yeah definitely there is a there is a cone cut there. I'm going to mark yep there are definitely overlap in this picture however small it is there is overlap there. I'm going to add grades that are going to reflect what is there. Now in red, your instructor is going to be marking down what makes this require you to retake the x-ray. So if I was to say, yeah, I need to get that distal of that tooth number, nine, uh, that tooth number 18 that's there, and because that cone cut is interfering, I'm going to say that that cone cut in red is the reason why you need this retake. And from there, you'll go and get that retaken. We will reevaluate to see that it meets our standards, and we will move on from there. And throughout all these different areas, we will see different errors. Let's go and check a couple of different ones. This next x-ray is another bite wing, but it looks like it's a little bit further forward. And what is the errors that you can see in this one? As a student, I'm going to go and write down that there is a bunch of overlap. So I'm going to go notate that one as a 13. What else can we find from this x-ray that may give us errors? Well, at the moment, I can see that we can see almost the full cuspid or the full part, full coronal structures of the canine, and we don't need all of that. Maybe for this shot, your film placement was too far anterior, and it needs to kind of come back a little bit, just enough so that we can see the distal of the canine, but not all the way to the mesial side. So let's add a 3 up to there also. So alongside 13, we're going to add a 3. You bring that to your instructor. They see, yep, there are definitely 13s. There's a 3 there. And the main thing that makes us need to retake here, apart from you being too far forward, is our overlapping. So we're going to send you back. We're going to send you back, get that overlapping taken care of. Let's move on to our next x ray. Now, this one, what area does this x ray belong in? Off of this FMX.
Hopefully you were able to choose the upper left canine in the 11th position. And that's going to be in this area right here. So. so let's go ahead and mark down what's the issue on this one. Well, looking there, we can go and see that this x-ray film looks a little bit different. Where teeth are generally straight, especially as you come to the front area, this one has more of an odd bend to it and it has a little bit of a stretching that's going on. This could be because of our film care where we have bends in the film and it may be shifting enough to be causing a elongation. But because we're in bite wing errors, you're not gonna see elongation on this side. For that, we need to go over to the periapical. Elongation, number 17. We can see that there is overlap here, so there's a 13 and for that film care still, so 16. So let's mark all these different errors down in that 11th position. And if we see that you add nothing there, we're definitely going to make sure that you can I properly identify it. Over on my side, I'm gonna see, yep, there are these proper ones that you marked down, good job. And maybe this, for the main error with this is that I can't see the apex of the tooth. Even if there's a little bit of elongation, the main thing is that we can see the apex, and in this one, we cannot. So I'm gonna call this one a absence of apical structures. And that's where we're gonna go down over here to tooth number to number 15. And even though I noticed it and you didn't, that's something that you're gonna learn from that. Oh, I am missing that part of the tooth. So next time I'm gonna look at every single part of my X FMX or my X-ray and see where I go from there. Let's go on to our next x-ray. What is the errors in this one? And where does it belong? For this one, we are gonna go all the way over to the bottom right. Looks like it's in about the molar position on the patient's lower right. If you look, we should, if this is a molar, also be seeing that second molar, that 31 that's back there. So our film is placed too far anterior and it needs to go more posterior, more back, so that we can capture that root, that apex of that 31 also. So with that one, we are also going to say that this one was a three. Give it to your instructor. Yep, 14, three, right on it. And the main issue that we see here that's gonna be issue is going to be that we don't see any apices. So that is a 14. What's the next x-ray? Now this one's a little bit special. We're gonna cruise right back onto our other area where we were at before, because this is going to be probably a molar or a premolar shot, depending on what you what's working well. I'm gonna erase all my previous entries here. And we're gonna dive over into student handwriting. Now this one has a special this now this one has a special error that's only achievable on film to the extent that you can see here it can still happen on on a digital sensor but in this fashion this is a physical film one in this one this is called a herringbone image so if we cruise over to bite wing because we can see the top and bottom teeth biting down number eight here is going to be our herringbone image so we're going to go over here Place seven as a herringbone image. It looks like we have a little bit of overlap, so it's 13. And we can move on from there, which, which, yep, I agree, 13, seven. And the main thing that's going to ruin this x-ray because it doesn't, it has too much artifacts on there to be able to properly diagnose dental caries is what we're going to place is that seven. That overlap may be remedied in another x-ray, but right now, the seven, the herringbone image, is the main issue. Remember, once you have all these filled out with whatever errors that you possibly can, we are going to be waiting for you to bring this to us to properly grade. And over time, with your mannequins, you are going to see progress on being able to identify errors before you were to bring it to a doctor 
Because if the doctor finds those errors, they're just going to tell you to go retake that x-ray. And you should know from the get-go that that needs to be done. In essence, keep your mind sharp. Keep your eyes open for these different types of errors. This is a learning experience. And good luck with your x-rays.